Hi, in this video I will show you what a default VLAN is and what is the difference between a native VLAN and a default VLAN. I have received a, a few comments and messages asking about this topic, so here we are. But uh, this time, instead of using packet tracer, I will show you how to uh, simulate a switch using GNS3. Uh, so we can use a 3600 series router. Uh, we go to configure. And here in slots, we have to choose a 16 a switch module. OK, when we press OK, we will see that we have a switch inside of a router. OK, and we can press Start to uh, boot this router up. OK, so let's talk about a default VLAN and what the difference between a default and a native VLAN is. OK, so when you when you get a new Cisco switch, and it's not only Cisco, but I think most companies will do it in the same way, uh, they want you to they 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 design this device to be in a way a plug and play uh, switch. So what I mean by that that you can get a Cisco switch for fifteen uh, k and uh, you do not have to know anything about Cisco and uh, be able to use it as a switch. Of course, it's not recommended you will not have any features, but it can be a plug-and-play device. For instance, all ports are, uh, uh, are no shutdown by default, all ports are auto, so they will negotiate the trunk. Of course, you should never leave it that way. Uh, but that's what uh, what these companies want to do. Okay, so here we are. We can type show IP interface brief. Okay, and we have our switch here with uh, 16 ports. Okay, uh, let's change the name. Okay, right. So, now, show VLAN switch. That's what, on a switch you have to type show VLAN. On a router with a built-in switch you type show VLAN switch. And here you can see that all ports are assigned to VLAN 1. Okay? And uh, this VLAN is uh, called a default VLAN because all ports are assigned to this VLAN and that's it. But uh, in my previous video I explained what a native VLAN is and uh, a default VLAN is a native VLAN as well. Okay, So all ports are in VLAN 1 which is a default VLAN which mean, it means that all ports are in this VLAN and uh, VLAN 1 is a native VLAN, okay? So it means that frames will not be tagged between uh, in, in, in VLAN 1, okay? So let's try and uh, take another uh, router switch here, yeah, really. Okay, start. And we'll try and connect these devices. Let's use port 15. Here we are. Right. Oops. That one. Here we are. Okay. Right. So. Open both windows. Okay. Nice. Right. 
let's type show interfaces trunk there is nothing in here but let's do it like this okay we hard code it as a trunk Should work. Uh, it's showing it down. That's interesting. Show IP three. Up up. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. That was strange. So we have uh, our trunk, and take a look. Our native VLAN is VLAN 1, okay? And uh, all ports are in VLAN 1 as well, okay? So the default VLAN, so the VLAN that was set up by Cisco is VLAN 1, and Cisco decided to use VLAN 1 as a native VLAN as well. Okay, and that's why it's recommended that you should not use VLAN 1 for your native VLAN and you should not use your uh, you should not use VLAN 1 for any of your hosts as well. So what you should do really, is to type the following. You should create uh, it's, it's a router so you have to use the database, VLAN database. Uh, let's create uh, VLAN, let's say 10, okay, uh, and what you should do, you should go under all your interfaces, this is the range command, 14, because 15 is a trunk, and we should type switchboard mode access switch code access VLAN 10 okay and uh, we could type spanning tree port fast uh, as well okay so when I type show VLAN I will see that all ports were assigned to my VLAN 10 but when I type show interface trunk I can see that still VLAN 1 is my native VLAN. So what I would what I should do sorry, I should create another VLAN like VLAN in most situations they will use a high people will use a high number like 99 or something. Uh, there's no name Here I can put the name, so let's say it's my native, okay? So now, when I type show VLAN, I will have my native VLAN here, and I want to make sure that this is my native VLAN. So, something that we did, did in, our, in, in the previous video, I will go under my trunk, and I will say that the native VLAN is VLAN uh, 99, okay? And now, of course, the, the switch will complain that uh, there is a problem with uh, this VLAN, uh, native VLAN, because it's not set up on the other end, but when I type show interfaces trunk, I will see that my native VLAN is VLAN 99 and uh, there are no ports in the default VLAN, which is VLAN 1. And that's what we should do for the security reasons.
I hope that uh, it's much easier to understand now. If you have any questions or anything that you want me to cover in the next video, please uh, put some comments and I will try and record something. Thank you very much. Bye.